Hi everyone, welcome to the first session of matrices and vectors with Python. In this session, we are going to cover the topic like how to create matrices, how to create random matrices of different orders. Then we will touch upon how to access the matrices element, then followed by how to delete the column and the rows and column of a matrix. Of a matrix. First of all, what is a matrix? Matrix is nothing but a rectangular. Matrix is nothing but a rectangular array of numbers, symbols, or expressions arranged in rows and columns. Followed by like where do we use metrics in machine learning? Metrics is like the base of machine learning data set. Metrics are used to read the input data, which is sometimes in the form of CSV or TXT or different form XML. And we will move that data into the metric. And it's specially used to process uh, used to process the input uh, data variable when we are training our algorithm. So first of all, what I will do, I will as usual import, uh, I'll import a NumPy package now what we are going to do we are going to execute task number one how to create matrix it sounds very easy how to create very ma different metrics but i'll show how uh, what are the different methods to which we can create a matrix suppose we create matrix manually is equal to np dot a r a y we execute this our matrix is created okay this is how we create the matrix manually how do we create random function so for that what we'll do we'll write Port random and then we will generate like uh, np dot random for dot random which is again okay. if you want to create a two by two matrix if you want to create a two by two matrix just type two comma two it will just create fill it with the random numbers which is like again between it's, it will take some decimal number so if you want to create a three by three matrix for your work or something it is has created three by three matrix now you don't like you want the metrics to be in with filled with integers you are not interested decimals so in that case you will instead of this random here you will write random underscore integer integers okay random underscore integers and then which will be followed by between which range you want to give i'll give 0 to 9 okay so your array is created by 9 and 5 8 and 3 is the content of your array now you can see here is there's a deprecation warning that instead of this what is a please call rand rand int so we'll follow that we'll call that function so this is created two by two matrix if we want to create here three by three now we are not satisfied with this we'll give here five 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 matrix. so this is it is kind of a data set with five columns you can say this now you are you want your data within a range of 0 comma 100 you can see all the values and every time this value will change because you are populating it with the random values now what we will do so the first part is completed as per our list how to create matrices we have completed now how to create a random matrix of different orders now we'll create how to access the matrices suppose we have created you type here you have 5 by 5 matrix okay now if you want to extract only the first column how will you do? We we'll give x and then followed by colon comma. So the first column is extracted. Now, after this, if you want to extract the second column, then what you'll do? We'll give x which is your matrix colon comma. See here 85, 86, 71, 46, 35. So it is being extracted. Now, if you want to extract the first row, so how you will do? That you will write simply x of zero. 39, 85, 67, 25, 90. And followed by, if you want to extract the first or suppose third row, third row is 0, 1, 2, 3. 3 is 66. If you want to, like, if you give here 2, then you can see here this 0, this one is extracted. Fine. If you want to extract the second and fourth row, second and fourth row, how will you do that? That will be simple. X, 2, comma, Oh, then execute this. So you see, second is it's the index starts from zero. So the first line is zero, second line is one, third line is second. So three is being extracted, and after that, fifth line is your fourth row. So thirty one is also this entire line line is also extracted. If you want to extract the first and fourth row, that will be simple. X zero colon comma and then one colon four. Okay, it should be comma. Now what is my x? So x is what? Uh, 1 means this one, this and fourth one means this. So this is being extracted here. Even you can store it in a separate variable if you want. Now you can print the value of y. Fine. So I think uh, you can understand what I am trying to explain here. Well, now 
we are left with the last item of this session which is nothing but how to delete rows and columns of a matrix pretty simple how to delete you want to delete the first uh, column so if you want to delete the first column then you'll write np dot delete and then inside that you have to pass that matrix x comma 1 comma 0 this will delete the second row means 41 this thing will be you can see 39 is there after that this is there and this 41 86 85 85 is being deleted if you want to so what was the this is like now we'll see how to de delete the second column that will be np dot delete followed by okay here x this is an important thing you should note here x means your matrix one means which column you want to delete and zero means for rows and one means for columns so if we give x here comma one comma one if we give like this if we include this you can see uh, 85 71 46 and 35 is gone but my actual my actual data set remains the same in order to achieve that to give like this and if you execute this you will get so your second column this 85 86 71 is gone right now how to how to uh, delete multiple uh, columns and multiple rows okay second and third row suppose how do we achieve that then we'll give an p dot delete comma x comma and then we want to delete second and third two comma three. now we want to delete what second and third row so in the case of row this value here will be zero okay if we execute this your second and third row is gone now if you want to delete second and third column in case of column this value here should be what i hope you understand this video and thanks a lot for watching this session i'll see you in the next video which is about the addition and subtraction of matrices so see you in the next video thank you